afternoon. Introducing first into the red corner, Mark Luxton. This is uh, Mark Luxton from Impact MMA in Salisbury under Joe Taylor. And uh, this is at 77 kilos and we're back to the A-class rules. So we're going to see some ground and pound in this fight if it hits the floor. And it is interesting that uh, Ballerini uses a slightly smaller cage than like you might see in the UFC or some shows. And it does mean that occasionally it can kind of favor a wrestler or a grappler because they can close the distance and get the fight where they want it. Whereas, you know, someone... Someone like myself, I'm, I'm six foot five and good looking, and I like to uh, use some range on my punches. And I, I really favour a much, much bigger ring if I'm striking. Yeah, there's only so far you can run in a cage like this. There's only so far you can back up. But really, the, the difference nowadays is angles and, and you know being able to, to use successful footwork, which is something that we're starting to see come in at the highest level of uh, the highest levels of MMA. That movement, that that lateral movement that that some of the best fighters can do. Because what's happening is is this older tier of fighters that really just have that plodding footwork of the of the old Muay Thai style. They tend to get chased down by wrestlers and jiu-jitsu fighters and can get backed into the cage rather easily. But like you said, Chris, this smaller this smaller cage. Much more. And I think some of the best striking we've seen tonight was actually in that heavyweight fight earlier. We saw some really good footwork, mixing up levels, uh, finished with a body shot. And I think if you're ever finishing someone with a body shot, it's, a, it's quite often a sign that you're a high-level striker when you're working the body. And his opponent, Definitely, those kicks were all the difference. Pavel Pavlovsky. That's Pavel Pavlovsky, by the way, folks, and <laughs> out there. And it's going to be a really good thing. So now we've got the beast from Eastern Europe versus our man, Mark the luxury Luxton, who's rocking bad boy shorts from like the early Pride days. I'm s like, I'm, it's I'm, I'm picking him right now. He's channeling his in, he's, channeling, he's channeling Vitor Balfour in those shorts. Yeah, definitely. So Pavel is from a Bakehouse MMA in rugby, and they are, they're really like, as gyms go, they're quite focused on their striking. So it'd be interesting to see if that's what he brings to the game. But they're a gym that uh, they actually have ABA classes in their gym, so like very formal boxing in their gym. So it'd be good to see how he throws his hands, if he works that jab and keeps distance. Sweet. So we've got a oh, right, couple sprays in the face, a little cuddle, time to go in and do business. you got to love the shows of camaraderie that, that happen at cage side. There's got to be a... A book there. This is an A-class fight at oh. 77 kilos. Applying Vaseline to men. Introducing first the fighter in Some of the, the truest record. moments in the world. Weighing Happen in at cage side with Vaseline. Fighting out of Impact MMA. Mark Luxton. Mark looking very confident, but uh, Pavel looking ready to go. He's already in his and fighting his stance, opponent. looking like he just can't the wait to get going. Weighing 76.8 kilograms. Fighting out of Big House MMA, Paul Polosky. Still coming. And your referee for this fight is Mr. Alan Jackson. He uh, he's come from that striker's gym and he really looks like a boxer going in there. Like got that, that footwork and great lead leg teep. You don't see that much. That's an advanced move. Nice switch. It's a bit heavy on that lead leg. Seemed to, be, to favor a bit of like a, a kickboxing style. He's trying to square his stance a little bit to throw kicks there. Is, pa is Pavel Pavlovsky as he lands a, a, a switch Oh, he kick. landed a straight left, but he's come back with a left. Oh, he put oh, both fighters landing heavy shots. Mark Luxton takes and slams him into the into the rings, gets his arms locked, and is looking for the takedown. He's got to lock his hands and pull it around. Excellent. Boom. He takes down Pavel Pavlovsky. Mark Luxton on top for the first time in this fight. And, uh... Pavel being from that gym that kind of favors striking more than grappling. It's going to be interesting to see what he does here. But uh, I think he's kind of doing the right thing. What we want to see him do is get onto his right side and try and get his right leg through to a recover guard. Or walk up the cage and try and get a nice stand up. Well, you see, this is where I have to disagree a little bit, Chris, because I think he's, he's wrapping that right arm a little bit high, looking to maybe turn away instead of turn into and try to regain guard on Mark Luxton. I think that, it's, it's that's all an early, early sign of just not being comfortable there in side control, which, in all honesty, no one's really com comfortable in side control. <laughs> oh, and he, he, he lets him get that mount. He got that mount fairly easily for me. And uh, he's keeping what he wants to do on top. He's doing a really good job, but, like, get his head against oh, the cage. And a nice great bridge. bridge. So good recovery. And Pavel wants it straight back on the feet. He's clearly a striker. And what I noticed before in their striking was that lead right hook. He really was looking for it. Mm, just there. Missed kick. Oh, oh one, two, and that's a knockout. Finished him. 
the fight's over. He hit him with a couple of straight lefts. Really good from that southpaw stance. He threw some really tight combination. Two straight lefts landed. That lead right hook. And uh, very impressive performance from Pavel. But uh, he looked a tiny bit suspect on the ground. But as soon as they got back to the feet, he was back in his comfort zone. Yeah, that was definitely his world, wasn't it? With that straight left finishing that fight. And Mark Luxton fell like a tree in the forest. And it was just, it was over. And, uh, you know... Maybe just a little bit more posture there, a better better balance there in, in the mount position. We could have been talking about a much more much different finish. Yeah, it was it, it really started to look like a bit of a case of a striker versus grappler. Mark threw some nice shots actually in the in the first little exchange, but I think there was a disparity in skill on the feet, and then there was a disparity in skill on when it hit the mount. It's really interesting to see uh, when a uh, a failed technique is the uh, turning point in the fight, and it was Mark Luxton just throwing. I'm not going to say half-hearted, but uh, a lower, le uh, a rear leg kick that he wasn't very confident in, and stepping off and not taking that leg back, turning his his shoulder ever so slightly, and just eating those shots from Pavel Pavlovsky as Pavel was just out of range of that initial leg kick. And your winner after one minute thirty-four seconds of the very first round by a KO. Congratulations, make some noise for our winner, Paolo Podolski.